One second, one second. All right, we're here. Hope everybody, hope everybody's doing well today. You know, I'm doing very well, thank you. You know, uh, this is another moment to admire. Admire me real quick. Um, you know, I had the last video, but I deleted it. It's kind of like a hairline reveal when I had the big ass afro. Well, it's gone, so mostly everybody forgot about it. But yeah, it's just another thing, you know, I probably got a little, um, I'm happy with the way this looks. So, you know, I'll give y'all a little something to look at. Give y'all a little treat for the day. But not really too much to talk about. You know I, mean? um, I saw we got the, um, the Tekken trailer, well not really a trailer, but um, the release date, 2024, January, was it January 24th? Or 29th, 29th, January 29th and 24th, one of those. And everything looked good. Besides one thing, where the fuck was Lee? Like, we had Dragon off, we had Steve. They brought Shaheen back, so hopefully they got a, gave him a new design, so hopefully he might be interested in that. Um, Yoshi, of course, gonna be the Kuma was the, and they brought Leo back. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl this time, but I mean, I got, I gotta like the character. I mean, I like, I like the fighting style. The fighting style, cool as shit. It remind me of um this character from Dead or Alive. What's it called? I forgot the name. Um, Elliot. Remind me of Elliot from Dead or Alive. So yeah, I'm not mad at Leo, but. Where the fuck was Lee? Lee, hey, I don't care. Hey, save the best for last. Save Lee for last. It don't matter. But everything looking good on Tekken side. You know I mean? Um, you know, I'm looking good. Thank you, Lord. You know, as far as the channel, I've been putting a lot more effort into promo, like just getting my my channel out there to different people. So that's good. That's good. You know, we're getting there. 78 subs. 22 more, we're going to hit 100. You feel me? That's a, that's a goal right there. You feel me? A small, hey, you got to set small goals before you hit the big goals. You feel me? I really want to get some more basketball shit. It's crazy because, like, this, speaking of basketball shit, I just had a whole damn, um, Funny ass fucking scenario the other damn day playing ball. It was funny shit. It wasn't no that crazy, but it's something that y'all haven't seen yet. It's something I've been that's been happening to me for years. But just going back and forth, fucking around with this nigga talking, talking a whole bunch of shit. All in good fun. It wasn't nothing too. It wasn't nothing disrespectful, you know. It was some chill shit. But even if it get disrespectful, you know, I I I, I laughed that shit off. That's the interesting thing about me. With the basketball shit. Who the fuck is? Must be an Instagram notification. One second. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. But yeah, even me, it was funny as shit. I was doing his ass in too, though. That shit was crazy. He was like 6'2, 6'3. Yeah, he was at least like 6'2. Couldn't fuck with me. You feel me? But he was lazy. Like, he was, he was a goofball. Like, I'm goofy too and shit like that. But like, okay, go on the court. I'm gonna talk shit and bust your ass. Like, you feel me? Not everybody can do that. Not everybody can talk shit while they fucking getting jiggy with a nigga. You feel me? I'm one of the few people that can do that. But yeah. It was interesting. You feel me? We need more moments like that. Wish I had the camera out, but, you know. Next time. There's always, no, always another opportunity. But yeah, you know, it's been an interesting week for me, you know. 
mentally I've been on another level. <laughs> Where the fuck did I put this? But yeah, mentally I've been on another level. I've been really strengthening my mental fortitude, you feel me? And that's something that, hey, all members of the kingdom, you feel me? Especially the men, was like, strengthen the mental fortitude and keep the vain mentality, you feel me? It's important. It's gonna help you in the long run. You feel me? Because the life will do everything to fucking break you, try to break you down. And if it's not relationships, women and male and female relationships, a significant other, somebody that you would like to be with, but they most likely might not want to be with you, financially, family problems, you know, just some people are just depressed, just for the sake of being depressed. I'm not, you can thank God, but you know, like I said, hey, it's good to keep a strong mindset I hope I'm not talking too low, but I don't want the household to hear me, you know. But yeah, hey, fuck that. Let their ass know, you know, once, once you do get where you, where you need to be, like I said, once the world opens up their eyes, it's going to be real interesting to see. But that's all I'm going to go. That's all I'm going to get in. That's how far I'm going to go. I ain't going to get too deep into that. But yeah, really the point of this video was just for me to just, for you guys to admire me and me to admire myself, you feel me? Because it's always a good day to look at vain, you feel me? It's always a good day. I don't know if I, I don't think I've got no more news for y'all or nothing like that. Let me think. Um... Nah, not really. Just stay tuned as always. You know, the real ones showing real love. You know, I'll fuck with you. I got love for you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I don't know if I talked about this in my last, last bit, but I'm gonna talk about it right now. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, I don't think I got this on the channel yet. So we gonna talk about it right now. I had a conversation with another one of my homeboys, and he said some shit about He wish he could um, do what I do and just post shit. And like the way he said it didn't resonate well with me at all. Like, like he was made to seem like I just don't give a fuck about what the fuck I'm putting out. Like I just turn on the camera and say, hey, okay, film this, just post it, fuck it. I don't give a shit. You feel me? No, not at all. Everything I got on there means something to me. I like, I like everything that's on there. You feel me? I don't just turn on the camera, hey, this, I don't give a fuck, fuck you, no, you feel me, yes, I know the quality ain't perfect, the content ain't all the way where it needs to be yet, but what I was explaining to him on the phone was, you can't fucking look at it like, oh, a perfectionist, you can't look at it like, oh, this, my, my first video gotta be perfect, it's not gonna be perfect, Nobody's perfect besides me. So, you know, like I said, I can do this. I can post whatever the fuck I want to post. And it's going to fucking do numbers. It's going to be great because I'm me. But not everybody else is me. It's only one me. There will only ever be one me. So, yeah, I had to explain that to him. But, yeah, on top of that, too, it's like, bro, like, you ain't never going to ever, ever get no progress. You never going to ever put nothing out if you think like that. Stop trying to make, oh, let me, let me, make, let me make a video. That's on the level of these fucking big ass YouTubers that's been doing this shit for years that got all this clout, all this fame, all this money, all these resources. You don't got that shit yet. So until you get that shit, put something out there. Put yourself out there. That's what I'm doing. That's what, that's what I said, nigga. Just put yourself out there. You feel me? Try to connect with somebody. Try to, try to, try to inspire somebody. Try to get some type of audience. You feel me? Don't just look at it like, oh, you feel me? I gotta post some shit that's on this level. Just some crazy ass shit. Because it's not gonna be like that. There's plenty of people, damn, damn. I saw, I saw fucking plenty of YouTubers that's, that's, that's making the biggest YouTubers right now. 
They first shit wasn't wasn't no fucking oh my god no amazing viral shit. That motherfucker never been doing this shit for ten plus years. Just blew up in the last couple of years. You feel me? Nah, of course it ain't gonna take me that long. Because <laughs> I'm the fucking prince, you feel me? But yeah, like come on, like bro, you can't look at it like that, like you feel me? But hold on. And don't ever fucking disrespect me again, nigga. I had to tell him like nigga, nah, nigga. I give a fuck about all my goddamn, all my films, all my movies. I care about all my movies. All my movies have some type of charm to them. They all have potential. They all have something that will draw somebody in. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm a magnetic force. Now, he's not a force like me. I mean, but who is? Nobody is. Don't want to sound cocky or arrogant, you know. None of that. But just, you know, hey, at the end of the day, too, be confident in what you put out. You feel me? Be confident in what you put out and know that you will progress and it will get better. Once I get the resources, once I get this, once I get that. But like now, I'm going to put, put myself out there. I'm going to, you know, like I said, once I find an audience that resonates with me, once I find, find this and that, once they find me, either way. And then another thing too is like, bro, you can't even say that because like, if you look at my shit, I got different types of shit and plenty of videos. Like the most shit I've been doing right now is like the Tekken shit. But I got basketball on there. I got some vlogs. I got some bits with me just talking shit like what I'm doing right now. You can see there's character here. You can see that you can see there's somebody that gives a fuck about what he's doing. He's not just turning on the camera just doing any dumb shit. You know, he said, don't fucking play with me. You know who the fuck you are. But yeah, like I said, real much on real love. You know I fuck with you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And you know, we here, man. We enjoying it. Let's take the last 10 seconds just to admire again.